Well, I have Republicans who come to me on the floor and say, I wish I could vote with you today. Yours is the right vote, but I would just take too much flack back home. And I have Republicans who come to me and say, that's wrong what APAC is doing to you. Let me talk to my APAC person. By the way, everybody but me has an APAC person. What like, does that mean, an APAC person? It's like your babysitter, your APAC babysitter, who uh, is always talking to you for APAC. They're probably a constituent in your district, but they are, you know, firmly embedded in APAC. And every member has something like this? Every, I don't know how it works on the Democrat side. Uh, but that's how it works on the Republican side. And when they and when they come to D.C., you go have lunch with them and they've got your cell number and you have conversations with them. So I've had like that's cr absolutely crazy. I've had four members of Congress say, I'll talk to my APAC person. And like, it's literally what we call them, my APAC guy. <laughs> I'll talk to my APAC guy and see if I can get him to, you know, dial those ads back. Why have I never heard this before? It doesn't benefit anybody. Why would they want to tell their constituents that they've basically got a buddy system with somebody who's representing a foreign country? It, it doesn't benefit the congressman for people to know that, so they're not going to tell you that. Does anyone have a Putin guy that they talk to? Not only do they not have a Putin guy, <laughs> look, they don't... They, they don't have a Britain guy. They don't have an Australian guy. They, you know, they don't have a Germany dude. Like, it's the only country that does this, that has somebody that, like, uniformly, I guarantee there's some spreadsheet at APAC where, <laughs> where you know, the, the APAC dude is, who's matched up with the congressman is there, and then all the congressman's votes on the issue. Oh, has the congressman been to Israel? They, they pay for trips for congressmen and their spouses to go to Israel. I may be, I mean, I don't, I, I'm not the only Republican who hasn't taken the APAC trip to Israel, but I'm probably one of a dozen that hasn't taken that trip. And the other ones just haven't got around to it.